I remember I asked your dad, I was like, so what do you guys think about this vaccine? And your dad was like, we don't think about it. <laughs> <laughs> quality is not a thing for me, bro. I don't believe in equality. Like, okay. <laughs> someone's going someone's gonna to clip that. Someone's going to clip that. And Straight that. facts, bro. Like, <laughs> so people fed you bullshit to make money. Money. <sighs> Where have we seen that before? Bro, it's a brand new concept. Yeah. It's never happened before in the history of human beings ever, you know? I'm proof that the education system is a scam. I agree. Actually, touch my paw. Same. There we go. Homie. Not one degree between us. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> we have to finish the incoming message. The Modern Man Podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to The Modern Man. Disclaimer right from the start. <laughs> Everything we say here is complete and utter lies. It's we don't believe lie. any of this. And what the media tells you is correct. You must believe All the news government. outlets tell the truth all the time. 100%. And Trust I would like... the science. <laughs> the scenes. I'd like to introduce my guest for today. Nearly a year on since he was last year. Homie. Cheers, my friend. Welcome back to The Modern Man. Welcome back to Joburg. Pleasure. Thank you for having me. Mm. So... Let's just start off. So today we are going to be discussing the seven biggest scams sold to you by the media. And number one has to be the number one thing that's, you know, that's just happened recently. Yeah. Even though YouTube might take this off because we're talking shit about it. But oh, we can blur it. We can beep it out. Yeah, that's yeah. true. That's true. Let's talk about. Let's do it. Started. When was it? Ended December 2019. Heading yeah. to January. So today we're not going to be spitting fucking facts at you and telling you uh, these are the numbers and shit like that. That's a bunch of nonsense. We are just going to have logical reasoning as to why the fucking thing was the biggest It's going to make you guys think. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Think, yeah. So for me, bro, my first point on... Could you call it a regime, bro? Motherfuckers straight up got the world to stop, bro. Stop. They stopped the world in its tracks Never been done before. Mm. Something like that has never even been heard before. But there are motherfuckers that are sitting at levels that we couldn't even fathom. Like straight up, even though we logical thinkers, we still don't know shit. Bro. Yeah. And these are straight up just stop the world because they could. Yeah. And for a fucking reason. And for me, that's probably one of the scariest things I've ever experienced yeah. in my life. 21 days, eh? To, to hold the spread. That was, that was, that was, that's what they opened up that's with. It. It was like, that's everyone it. stay in your house for 21 days, don't go to work. Will hold the spread and ended up being two and basically half two and a half years of restrictions, people wearing masks. And, and you see, th those kind of things, yeah. it made no sense to me, bro. It no. made no sense to me. We, we met up at some point during lockdown. Yes, yes. And I sat down with your family and they, were, they had just come out with like the news that they were speaking about, mm -hmm. bringing out a vaccine. And I think we were just sitting around the table and I remember I asked your dad, I was like, so what do you guys think about this vaccine? And your dad was like, we don't think about it. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, Dude, sick, yes. 100%, bro. And cool. you know what? The sad part is that 99% of people all believed it. Don't get me wrong, bro. Yeah. In the first three weeks, I believed it too, bro. Yeah. You know, I was fed that. It was telling me this. I, didn't, I couldn't think of something that made it not make sense. Yeah. And then it started prolonging. And then businesses started closing. People, men started committing suicide because they couldn't provide. Yeah. People started getting this, that. And, oh, don't get me wrong. For some people, <laughs> fucking shot them into the stratosphere, bro. For sure. But that's like a very select few. Very. But I mean, if we look at it, right? Like, let's go back and look. Okay, fair enough. The first 21 days, we were all, I think the world was unsure about what was mm. going on and what we was going to happen. We yeah. Were, we, they were showing videos I mean, of Wuhan and Italy yeah, and no, this, people laying in the fucking exactly. streets. Exactly. Do people remember those videos Dog, that they showed that us of people? That shit didn't fucking happen. No, bro. we no know chance, for a fact bro. that didn't happen. So anyway, yeah. and people forget that was being broadcasted onto every news channel Everywhere, imaginable. Bro. From BBC to CNN to fucking this to that. And then time goes on. And then what do we find out? I feel after like about two months, mm. maybe a month in... Okay, well, I mean, I would say six weeks, six weeks, and we all started questioning shit. Well, not all, but I mean, well, we were just looking at the debt. Let's even looking at the death rate, let's say six months in, mm. right? Is it was sitting at what 98% survival rate? Oh, yeah, something stupid. Bro. So, like, they were showing us this is bullshit. They were showing the information was there that this is bullshit. 
But on TV, it was like, stay in your house. If you don't get the vaccine, you're a bad person. You're a murderer. You're selfish. Yes. Yeah. And I'm petty, bro. I'm petty. I've got, <laughs> I've got mental notes of friends, people that used to be my friends, like people that I knew, acquaintances, who put out dumb shit like, if you don't get the vaccine, you're uneducated. Trust the system. Like, like uh, dude, I have mental notes on, oh, all, did on it, yeah. all of you guys. Cowards. Bro, Cowards, every facts. single one of you. And they you. used to make you feel bad about yeah. it too, bro. And that's fucking incorrect You don't have a degree. Shit, How dare you? No, 100%. Like, uh, trust, the, trust the doctors. These doctors studied for so many years and shit like that. Dude, these doctors are also getting fucking fed bullshit data, bro. Like, it's so easy to say, look at the data. Homie yeah. doctor, data can be doctified with a fucking flip of yeah. a button, bro. And I think one, one thing that people need to look at, that we can't just be like, oh, it happened, it's okay. Like, look at the mass censorship that was going on during it. Like, yeah. you, couldn't, you couldn't speak out against the narrative at all. You would get banned off YouTube. People would demonize like you. Bro. Some people had their bank accounts frozen for speaking up against really? the stuff. Yeah. That's crazy, Dude, bro. people lost their jobs. They took free speech away. Dude, like, to a, to a massive degree. Yeah. That, but they overplayed their hand. Because yeah, they went too much. And I think people started, like... But then also the right... In my opinion, the right people started speaking out about it. Bro, yeah. Because people with status and people with... Um, following and shit then they started being like ah this doesn't make fucking sense bro yeah. like this isn't a logical way to live life it became the world became a dictatorship we yeah. were all under the rule of whoever the fuck it is you know, I have no idea who the fuck it is yeah. but we all became under the rule of one group of people that just told us when where and how yeah straight facts and that for me was it was the most scariest yeah. idea because the problem is everybody believed it bro yeah. if only 1% of people that I knew didn't believe it, bro. You were one of them from the beginning. Yeah. And everybody else was like, no, no, you got to wear... And the fucking face masks, there goes all logic out the fucking window. Because remember when they let the lockdown down, you know, like... Yeah, they, they fucking, eased it a little they bit. They eased it a little bit. Open up the you restaurants. You can go to restaurants... In a crowded mall. In a crowded mall with your mask on. But yeah. when you sit down and eat, you can take it off. Fucking make, make it make sense, people. Make it make sense. That shit's the dumbest... And people will be like, no, no, it's, it's, yeah. it's the right way, you know? And then they would walk past and like, where's your mask? Some random fucking stranger. Where's yeah, your mask? Where's Shut your the mask? fuck up, Yeah, Karen. exactly. Get out of here. Exactly. Get out of here. You're probably more sick than fucking I am, bro. And to yeah. talk about like the actual strain or whatever itself, bro. I do believe it was an actual... There was something. There, there was something. Sure. It was a virus, bro. Yeah. But I watched the thing in preparation for this and the doctor said viruses like to... They don't want to kill the host. Yeah. They want to... Keep the host alive to spread because it doesn't help killing the host if they can't spread. Mm. So now this whole fucking thing's happening and people are coughing this and that fucking shit like that. But now they say, no, but you can go sit with your fucking at church or at restaurants or in yeah. open places. But then you've got a social distance, social distance for something that is the cousin of the flu. Yeah, I mean, you know, what I think is an important thing as well yeah. is to think okay, l let's say you take the view that it was a scam and someone was trying to exert some kind of control, mm. right? I mean, let, like, just think about who might want to do that. I think we all have a list of names. We won't say anything, but everyone knows certain families, certain Individuals, groups of people yeah. who we know have extreme power, right? Can like, we say Jeffrey Epstein? Because he's dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, he, he was definitely getting paid by someone involved in that circle but yeah like at at that point like going back to the restaurant thing like how stu we all know it was stupid we all knew it was so stupid and they were doing it all over the world where you go to a mall and you have to wear the mask they're not going to let you in you have to put on the hand sanitizer and then you go into a restaurant where there might be 50 people to to mm. 60 people in a restaurant yeah. and everything is Everyone's chilling like it's normal. Like there's no barriers in between. No. And at that level, you have to wonder like these people who are making these things happen, right? Like they don't care about money because no. to them, money is irrelevant. Dude, money the, doesn't. It, they print it doesn't money. Doesn't mean anything exactly. to them, bro. It's, it's about power. control. control and about and power. power. Straight. Facts, it's like bro. we're making these idiots f comply with this for fun. We, for fun. Yeah. Dude, they must have been. Hosing laughing, themselves. Having a good luck at that. Yeah. I agree with you, bro. I mean, even for me, what my conspiracy theory is about the whole thing, why they did the whole thing, was also yeah. first to show that they could. Yeah. Secondly, 
the vaccine, homie. Oh. The vaccine. Oh. The vaccine made fuck all sense. Mm-hmm. How the fuck did they come up with a vaccine for one of the deadliest viruses? It's also not a vaccine. It's not. So for me, what I think they did, they injected different DNA into people, bro. This is my conspiracy theory. (laughs) They they injected different DNA into people to change their DNAs, bro, so that these people could no longer reproduce. Well, isn't so in that they theory they the did world, do that, didn't they? they? It was dropping mRNA, the world population, gene right? therapy. Yes. They did gene therapy. So if yeah. You, yeah, straight up. So they're dropping the population on purpose yeah. to get rid of... It's like natural selection, but it's not, bro. These yeah. people are like, okay, all these people that had it. Look at all of them. They've got respiratory problems. They can't fucking breathe. I mean, look at Sergio Aguero. Played ball his whole life. Yeah. Got the vaccine. Had many heart attack on the fucking field, bro. Yeah. You're telling me that's just... Yeah. fucking coincidence and there's so many cases towards that and i definitely think that the, the vaccine was meant to do something to somebody's dna bro like yeah. they were there to fuck some shit up bro we said we weren't going to use f- stats and yes. i think that's all right because people will find some article that will contradict your yeah, thing yeah, yeah. but i recommend everyone listening go in google f- or youtube or use rumble mm. rumble's a good source you can just type in their increase in athlete heart attacks or young young person heart attacks and look at the increase yeah. in heart attacks and it's been over a period of how many we saw an ink started seeing an increase three years ago mm-hmm. i mean it does it coincide with the vaccine i, I don't know you, people can make sense. You, yeah you go do your, your own research go look bro. for yeah. sure for sure Again, with this podcast, people, if you disagree with us, I have something. It's okay, because we're lying. We're not even telling the truth. Yeah, for yeah. sure. We're just talking, we're just talking shit, shit, yeah. shit yeah. Just put your opinions down in the comments yeah. so we can see what you guys think about it. But also, one other thing that I don't understand what <laughs> did, bro, it also put a very unnecessary pressure on hospitals for people that actually needed it. They were filling yeah. up hospitals with people that didn't need to be in hospitals, and then other people died in those yeah. reasons. How many they people didn't <laughs> yeah. Someone dies in a car accident. Yeah. Somebody dies of this. So what I believe in what actually did is it just, if you had a sickness, it made you more sick. Yeah. Basically, in my opinion, bro. That's basically what it did. If you had a fucking lung problem, you were going to have fucking lung problems afterwards, bro. I mean, and also the whole, like the regulations that were put into place were kind of like cruel. I mean, how many people didn't get to say goodbye to their dying Funerals family member? And, yeah, and actually. Like, and like, not people that were there because of but people who were in there dying from cancer. You couldn't go and say goodbye. You know what I'm saying? They they deprived so many people, millions of people all across of the world, because they all yeah. implemented the same regulations of like proper a proper sense of closure yes. with your, with their loved ones. So, uh, you know, when you uh, you have a conversation with someone, it's like, oh yeah, well, it happened, and oh, but it's it happened so long ago. At least things are normal. It's like, no, things are not normal. No, no. it's not like there are people. There's a group of people out there who want to zombified once you sterile and once you enslaved like Proper. that was that was the first attempt that was the first first try. attempt yes. on a on a mass scale, scale. and they did yeah. it in the beginning they yeah. fucking did they, it but people came back but now they yeah. will do it again bro something yeah and if people up. aren't willing to not as you say they're saying oh but um it happened move on yeah no homie no you need to be now fucking aware of what's going on bro. yeah because you can't just believe everything that you're fucking hearing on the news bro yeah but that's it for me. Yeah, I think we, I think we've said time? enough. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm sure there's tons of people who share the the same ideas. I agree. And if you do, please comment on it. The next one that is the biggest scam in media history: <laughs> elections. Yeah, makes zero sense to me, bro. Elections is literally probably the easiest thing to rig in the entire world mm. for any country. The only country that doesn't have it is like fucking England because there's no elections, homie. They got the king and queen and that's that, bro. Oh, really? Like, do, but don't they, they have the a prime, they've got prime minister. Yeah, that's fine. But it's not stuff. the same thing as like, you know what I mean? Like yeah. choosing, running presidents and stuff like that, bro. Yeah. Elections are the easiestly, easiest thing to manipulate people. Also, people forget this. Mm-hmm. That <laughs> happened the exact same year that the American elections were happening. Joe Biden. And what happened in, in for the first time, I don't know if it was the first time, yeah. but it, it definitely happened where they were doing mail-in ballots. Where people could, you didn't, because of it, everyone, you because go. of the regulations, if you didn't want to go stand in line, you were able to mail in your ballots. And again, I'm not saying they rigged the election, but just go and look at certain things that happened. 
at one point, I'm not sure what state it was, but they stopped counting mm. at a specific time and they opened it again in the morning. And what happened in the morning? There were a ton of Joe Biden right. mail-in ballots <laughs> that came in, and they were all Joe Biden. Like all of that's what are the odds? Like a ninety percent thing, bro. So I mean, <sighs> but why do you think they do it? Because they hate Donald Trump, bro. Because Donald Trump isn't afraid to tell people, "Fuck you, this is wrong." Yeah. The media, because Donald Trump's a big, if not between him and Elon Musk, is the biggest advocates of telling you the media is fucking biased. Yeah. They will literally push an agenda in anybody's favor who pays, bro. Yeah. And see, because the problem is now when America has fucking elections, it affects the rest of the world, unfortunately, because they've got the biggest media outlets. Everyone follows America, and yet Americans are the oh, Americans are fucking dumb. <laughs> let, let me let me just straight up say that you Americans, not all of you, but generalizing majority of Americans are so stupid and illogical and just plain thick as a fucking brick, <laughs> like. Americans are our biggest audience. I love you guys, all of you. <laughs> none of you are, none of you are stupid. I love you all. Oh fuck! But um, <laughs> but going back to what you said, like it's true. You know, there's that saying that I'm lying, when obviously. America sneezes, the world catches a cold. Like fuck, that, that's that is a good saying actually. That is the influence that they have. Yeah, they're the most powerful country in the world. Yeah, and in on, I mean. I was speaking to to my homie today, and he said that America's current they need to sort themselves out because their biggest export right now is gender confusion, like that uh, that is their biggest export Fuck. right now. Fuck, you know what I mean? The and accuracy of that is so. You know when when they're creating problems. Now that you think about it, right? America's just creating problems. No solutions at the moment. There is no solutions coming out of America. Everything that's coming out of America right now is fucked. Yeah. It's fucked. It Do you see what way. they did now on Easter Sunday, bro? Yeah, what is it? What's it called? Gender Visibility National Day. National Transgender Visibility Day on Easter Sunday, Sunday, 31st of March. Christians went up in fucking arms, bro. I saw Pat, Patrick Bet David went yeah. fucking mental. Like, that's so wrong, bro. Dude, you know, if they had, if they had done that on any other day, I, I still believe it's, it's completely delusional and it's bizarre and has... There's no reason for it to be a national holiday. But to do it on Easter Sunday is like that should tell you exactly where the people in power, where their where their spirits lie. Like think about that. That's a big fuck you to, to people who, who believe in God in God. Yeah. I, I mean like I don't even think just Christians. I think that's a big fuck you to majority of religion. Right? Anyone who's got God in their heart for sure. Like I mean it, it's in your face. Like what yeah. else, why? Wow, it makes like you're zero going out sense. of your way to put a wall, yeah, on these people, bro. And but then, in a way, maybe it's good they're drawing the line, and now people are like saying, uh, oh, like you know, they're able to realize that if you're not here on this side, you then you're on this side. Yeah. And Cat Williams said it, he's like, What yeah. did he say? That You've got the people, half, dude. Bro, I mean, sh dude, Cat Williams is a legend for coming out and speaking of about year, all of that, bro, shit. yeah, for sure. But he said that there's people who are on God's side and the other side, and I mean, making Easter Sunday, announcing it on Easter Sunday that this is gender visibility yep. day or whatever. Transgender. Bro, you putting you transgender, whatever, like. You just put yourself out there that you're. Bro. It was the Biden administration that did it. Bro. Bro. Like, how do you. Because let's be honest, as much as America's now pushing out the whole transgender thing and the non -binary, binary shit, dude, majority of the population is still. God fearing people that know what the fuck's yeah. going on when you're looking at just like percentage wise, bro. Yeah. I don't understand the logic of doing that because you're not gonna win that one, bro. That wasn't a smart move in my opinion, bro. Like at all. You know what? I think they there, there was again, don't quote me on this, mm -hmm. but it was something ridiculous along the lines of um they did a survey in American public schools. Yeah. And um we good. Yeah, no, we're good. Bro. Oh, okay. I was just telling him to bring the bottle of wine. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, they, they, yeah, there was a survey in American public schools um, um, in, in between the ages of, I think it was seven to 15. Yeah. And something like one in four kids identified as non binary or as something Fuck, that they like weren't. 25 one in four, percent, bro, bro. That's crazy. Dude. You can't tell me that's not influenced from the content that they're consuming. Oh, for sure. You know? And uh, there's that, that famous video at a trance. I'm, I'm all right, thanks. Good. 
there, there's that um video at a, at a trans parade pride parade where they literally singing we're coming for your children children yes yes bro like people people will be like oh it was one person singing but it's like look at what's happening look at the information the content that we're being fed you know what i'm saying i don't have a problem with what you want to do do what you want to do do what you want to do but is it necessary it on to else, it, on movies on a massive scale the content that you i mean that's publicly artists, out there. Music artists. artists. Like, look at Sam Smith and Lil Nas X. Two, two, two examples on that. Bro. Bro. Sam Smith was one of my favorite artists bro, yeah. by far. And then what the fuck? It's straight degeneracy, bro. Bro, and it's completely. Gonna, and then some people will be like, that's homophobic. That's transphobic. It's like it's not the same thing. Mm -mm. You know, being a gay man is not the same as getting your, your ass out and your balls out. In front and of children. In front of children. Mm. And using this satanic satanic imagery in the process like you can't say it's an artist it's an artistic no it's not bro. take or it's uh, it, it's satanic it's it's, it's, facts, it's purposeful bro. man it's there there's it's a reason there. for it bro yeah no nah, fuck dude and yo, look at p diddy actually, <laughs> <laughs> i mean that's another can of worms <laughs> p diddy shit is crazy i didn't even read into that situation bro that that thing i was like no nah, if i get too into this this is gonna be a fucking uh, that's also bro. a rabbit hole yeah fuck no Okay, are we done with elections? Yeah, we are. We okay, yeah. the next point, the next subject mm. is, if not the most <laughs> controversial. Controversial. What controversial. is controversial? It? it is feminism. Oh yes, the biggest scam, <laughs> the biggest lie sold to young women. Bro, feminine. <laughs> I actually I wrote down, bro. Okay. The definition of feminism. Yes. The advocacy of women's rights on the basis of equality of sexes. Okay. Okay. Everyone here agrees everyone, with that. Everyone, yeah. yeah. I don't. Equality don't make sense to me in any, not just with sexes, just yeah. equality is not a thing for me, bro. I don't believe in equality. Like, okay. <laughs> someone's going someone's to clip that. Someone's going to clip that. And Straight that's facts, bro. Like, <laughs> for me, I, I don't believe in equality because I don't believe everyone deserves the same shit, bro. I think definitely, yeah, what Equality, they said, yeah. they said the idea of feminism is mm. the equal opportunities. Yes, of I agree course. with that. Yes. Freedom yes. of self and control over their own lives and bodies. Top shelf, all three of those points. Absolutely. That's it. You guys are good, golden. I think you guys deserve all of that. But equality of the sexes is such a weird thing because now you're asking the person that is above you for permission to feel next to them. Yeah. How is that logic making sense? But he still has to give you permission to feel there. Yeah. And I mean, also, we aren't equal. No, we like, are not equal. We're equal in terms of human value, sure. Yeah, for sure. But men and women are not equal. We know that. Like, biologically, we're different. But you know, they always you know? come out with the, the, the same arguments of the gender pay gap. The Which gender pay myth. gap doesn't exist. No. It doesn't exist, bro. That's, that's it's illegal, a, first of all, to pay a woman less. Just because than a man. of that, just, that it's a it's woman. It's illegal, so it doesn't happen. 100%, there's definitely things that happen in the world that isn't right. Yeah. And I think that's the problem where people come with. They, they, they always want everything to be so right all the time yeah. that they can't understand that there needs to be a place for wrong, bro, for you, any growth to like, occur. You know what I think the problem with modern age feminism in? Is, is that it's the same, it aligns with what we spoke about earlier. It's an attack on humans. It's anti-human. Because you tell a woman that you need to get a job and you need to be successful and you need to make this and that. Mm. Who cares if you sleep with seven guys in one night? Who cares? It's your yeah. body. Like, you're wrecking, you wrecking women. You're telling them absolute lies. I mean, why, why? I think if 99% of women were honest with themselves, inherently, if they, they want to stay at home with the kids, be a good mom, work maybe two, three days a week till 12 o'clock. Have a project or something. Have a yeah. project or something on the side. No woman, I think, naturally wants to be in the corporate world working seven hour weeks. Dealing with pigs. Six, like fucking people dude, are shit. To, there's like, a reason the male suicide rate is so high. It's because life is a man. Laugh, it's yeah. it's oh, fuck, shit, bro. man. Life no is one, shit is a guy, bro. Dude, yeah. what the hell? Why do you want to have a shit laugh too? Bro? Exactly. We Literally. build differently. Like exactly. if men are struggling with the like modern age... Problems. Then Problems you're going to know like, that the women are going to take it even worse. Bro, dude. Because they, they also, their feelings are different 
compared to us, bro. Like they have a lot more empathy, sympathy. Yeah. They feel, in my opinion, as they should be the caregivers. Things, yeah, one hundred percent. But they they feel a bit deeper in those things. Like you can't. I won't say you can't, guys. This is also please understand. This is a generalization. This is not everything is contextual, and obviously some people are some people, you know. But plus we line. We're not. Yeah, we, for sure. This is lies. just not facts yeah. at all. But the point is that women can't take the shit that men can take in a workplace environment. Working 20-hour shifts as a fucking construction worker or a fucking garbage man yeah. or this or that. Yo, some can, dude. Some can, genuinely. But it's not built for them. But I mean, even... In 100%. Uh, the environment, like, uh, I mean, the first thing that popped into my head was like a law firm, right? Mm. Like, I mean, sometimes people are there at the office till 2 o'clock in the morning. Mm. If that happens three, four, five days in a row... At some point, some dude is going to tell another dude to fuck off. But like if, if you know, th that happens to be a woman, she might take it differently. It might wreck her completely. You know, yeah. she might hate work for the rest of her life. For or sure. I mean, who knows? Or she can think it's an attack on gender when uh, it's not. Yeah, I mean. It's frustrating. Life is, it's just frustrating, bro. It's, yeah, it's you could get reported for abuse. <laughs> dude, yeah. And the problem is no one believes men. Like, we are all liars. We don't tell any straight facts. You're guilty until proven in innocent. No, 100%, uh, bro. So, for me, the whole feminine... As you say, bro, women... Okay, we can't speak on behalf of women, but facts are facts. I've spoken to many women, and they don't want to be nah. out getting drunk all the time, getting fucked by different dudes every weekend. Yeah. Because some chick said it's okay on Instagram, it's okay. bro. Yeah. Like, that's all cooler now, but then when you get to a certain age of, let's say, 30, bro... What self-respecting man will want to be with you? And then they'll be like, yeah. I don't need no man. Yeah. Cool. Then you'll be fine. Yeah, let, you'll be lonely chat. for the rest of your life. Let's chat That's when fine. you're 55 with your cats. Yes. In your, in your one bedroom And your career's apartment. not doing it for you anymore. Yeah, exactly. Then what, what's going to happen? Because the problem is women can't take loneliness like men can take loneliness. A man can live on his own for his whole life, bro. Yeah. And well, hate it yeah. with a fucking passion, but he'll get through it a lot easier than... And, but, the problem is when a woman gets to a certain age, she wants that like love and companionship yeah. of somebody and a good man too because you don't want a shit partner. Yeah. I don't want a shit partner. You don't want a shit... Women don't want shit partners. Yeah. But it's that age-old red pill tweet thing that says men choose women for their past. Women choose men for their future. Yeah, based on... Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, you guys can say it's a double standard, but... Of course, there's double standard. It is enough. a double standard, yeah. but I'm not going to lie to you. It's a double standard I can live with. And I've, I know a lot of women that are now coming out saying that they live with that too, bro. Like yeah. they are more than okay with being that kind of woman, a traditional woman. Bro. Yeah. Dude, well, I mean, that, that, that is one of the big lies that feminism has sold women mm. is that men give a fuck about your salary. We don't, we don't care, care how much to. money you make. You can work at McDonald's we don't care or be a CEO. Your, exactly. Me, if I like you, I like you. Yeah. Straight facts. There's and, no in between. And bro. if you and if you have a conversation with a like, you know, let's say you meet a woman for the first time and you're speaking, it, it's usually older women tend to lead with it, like closer to thirty. Oh, well, I've got this what position. Do do? Yeah, yes, what yeah. do you do? Oh, I've got this position, and and like they think that is the selling point. Yeah. You know, and where well, it's normally the other way around. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's normally the guy selling. That you point, actually right? might be. Doing yourself a disservice. Because now you're intimidating the man, bro. Yeah, he's not going to want to deal with that. No. He's not going to want to deal because with that. Because now think about it. You want a wife, right? Yeah. Do you want a wife that works 16-hour days, bro? No. You don't see her, and every time you're on a date, she gets called in, sorry, i got to fuck off. You're not a priority in that. Yeah. The career is, which I, I respect, but... Who's going to make my vegetables, yeah. bro? You know what I mean, bro? Okay, I, I'm a carnival, <laughs> but... <laughs> Me too, but, but fuck, dude. I know how to bra. I don't know how to do vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know how to do vegetables. That's I'm gonna cut that one. But <laughs> <laughs> I think you should cut it with I don't believe in equality, man. <laughs> 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 Fucking hell. But for me, I'm not gonna lie to you. The last thing on feminism that I have here is that what I don't like about the modern feminist movement, bro, it started becoming more men bashing anti than yeah. Woman empowering. Yeah. It's a complete turnaround and let me attack your character mm. and your whoever you are because you're a male, because I actually have very little intellect to do anything else and base my argument off. Yeah. That's basically what feminism is. They shout and scream until they try and make their fucking point. Yeah. 
because I actually have nothing smart to say. Well, yeah, well, I not mean, all of them. That's the thing. It's it's a destruction on it's it's aimed at destroying the family unit, and if you destroy the family hum, uh, family unit, it's that's essentially anti-human. It goes back to everything that we spoke about. All of these agendas are anti-human. They want to stop us from having loving relationships, they want building us to be strong families. Like, that's what it is. So if you've got the men and the women, and the women hate the men, and the men don't know if they're men, and the women don't know if they're women, like, how does that, how is that society going to thrive? No, 100%, but you have everyone running in fucking circles. Exactly. So now they can do whatever they want right in front of you, yeah. and you won't know shit because you're too busy wondering why I have a penis. Yeah. But I don't feel like I should have a penis. Yeah. Fucking dumb. Oh, God. Sorry. <laughs> Are we doing well? We're doing well. 100%. Okay. End of feminism. Can Next I have some one. of that wine, please, Dude, sir? With pleasure, bro. Now, this is the one that I said to you that I found interesting, bro. Yes. That I wouldn't know if I could call it a scam or not. Because the name of it sounds like a scam, for All sure. Right. But when I read the definition, it kind of made a bit more... It made logical sense to me in a way, you know, yeah. maybe not fully, but there, there was some ideas behind it that I kind of understood. Okay. The next item up on the list is gender studies. Gender studies. What, when you hear gender studies, you think fucking non-binary, this, that. Yeah, what, I thought what. that's kind of what they were aiming at. Bro. Yeah, I thought that's what gender studies, I thought yes. it was a bullshit degree that you go and learn where they tell yeah. you that being male and female is... Uh, What's the word that they use? L where it's um oh it's ex it's escaping okay. where like it's yeah. lucid not lucid what does anyone have the word? Uh, I know what you're trying you know to say. I'm trying but to I can't, say it's I can't changing all the time. Yeah. Yeah. It's not it's constant. Not a, it's not a real yeah, thing. It's not yeah. a permanent. Just because you are gender is a construct. To, it's a, yes. Yeah, that's the word. Yeah. Bro. It's an ideal. It's an ideology. Like fucking no, and it's not people. So gender studies on what I read is. Gender studies is on interdisciplinary academic field devoted to analyzing gender identi identity and gender representation. Now, that, I was like, nonsense. That doesn't make yeah. sense to me, bro. What the fuck is gender identi identity and gender representation? It originated in the field of women's studies concerning women and feminism, gender and politics. So now all, all of those things already tell me that it's like a load of nonsense. Bro, they're going to charge you for that. Gonna, that sounds like bullshit to Dude, me. 100%. They're going to charge you for that. Some people paid for that at university. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, you know. <laughs> then there's actually seven degrees that you can get in South Africa mm. regarding gender studies. Bro. Oh, yeah? They're all at the top fucking places too. But then this one I, I liked, bro. It said it studied... The mental il illness that disproportionately affects women, okay. such as eating disorders, electability of political candidates, and depression in a workplace. How it would affect a woman differently than a man. Mm. That I fucks with. Because again, we are not equal. We are not the same. Yeah. We are wired differently. So that's the only thing that I can give to gender studies that I fucks with. But you don't need to study that. No, you don't need to study. You can read up on no. that on fucking YouTube yeah. or, you know, on whatever. And, you know, go find a good source. But you don't have to go get a fucking degree in it, bro. No. Like, go into the corporate world and go see how happy those women are. Do they look like they're having a time? No. Probably not. Dude, majority of all women that I worked with when I was still back in corporate. Yeah. Very little were happy, bro. All in shape, all good looking. But not happy. Not happy. Either. Body counts. Probably well over 20. Mm. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. Easy. No Unhappy kids. marriages with yeah. kids. Oh, don't like their kids. All of this kind of thing. But that's, uh, that goes back to feminism. Okay, but and just people might watch us and think that we hate women. No, we don't. We love women. That's oh, for why sure, we, like 100%. We, you know, women need to be... That women need to thrive for society to thrive. You know, and we pro-human here on this podcast. For sure. We pro-human. So... We we don't we don't want you guys sorry, to what? go out and earn a ton of money. Don't stretch yourselves out. Find we'll a good man. You. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But now, now that you say that, sorry, just on that pro, pro life. Yeah, pro choice. Where are you? Where are you on that one? I mean, when that whole debacle came up, bro, in America, remember with the whole abortion yeah. thing and shit. Where did you stand on? I don't. Where know. do you stand on something like that, bro? All right. Well, let me just say that thankfully I've never been in that position where I need to make that choice, mm. but. With most things, eventually, if you allow something, it goes way too far. 
I don't think oh, there's extremists. I don't think you should uh, you should enable I don't think you should be allowed to have seven abortions. No. Do you know what I mean? And people I I mean I I'll I'll just say I'll just say that. I don't think you should be allowed to have seven abortions. Mm. Um should there's circumstances where it's required, but I d- I think from what I've what I've heard the research that I've done is that those instances where you know so- something might have happened forcibly uh, forcibly and um there's a pregnancy as a result of that you, you can't I mean that would be tough to deny a woman of an abortion yeah but I mean how often does that r- happen like how many chicks just decided got drunk and slept with some dude and then went and got an abortion you know what I'm saying like it's just because modern science has evolved to a you know a certain level doesn't mean that we have the we should play God. That, that's that's kind of where I stand. So I, it's tough to pick a side because I know, you know, it's, I think it's circumstantial, to be honest with you. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, dude, it's liter- It's a hard choice. Well, it's a difficult discussion and I think a very sensitive discussion mm. when you're talking about pro-choice, pro-life. Um, myself, in my opinion, we shouldn't be telling women what they can and cannot do with their bodies. As you were saying earlier with the forcibly... The forcible situation. Yeah. I don't want to say the word. It's a disgusting word. It makes me very great. uneasy, bro. Yeah, great. Yeah, that's what everyone says. So they don't yeah. get censored. Yeah, 100%, bro. And for me, then a woman definitely should 110% have the fucking choice. Don't get me wrong. I think uh, everything's contextual, bro. Can I Can I just yes, quickly go, just yeah. play devil's advocate real go. quick? Just because just, just you said that. Did any woman tell you that you should have got the vaccine? Yes. Yes. All right. Yeah. Carry on, sir. I get you. I get you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you got to make sure your partner didn't get it, bro. But we're just lying, yeah, dude. We're For not sure. telling the we're truth. We're talking it's about jokes, Anyway, bro. point being, my thing is, again, someone shouldn't be having seven abortions. Yeah. Then you're just taking thing of the system bro then yeah. actually like you know you're destroying womanhood and you're like, also destroying yourself yeah for sure bro like and you, at the same time i mean like believe what you want to believe man about like people have different beliefs about when they think a life has been mm. conceived yeah but when they believe that happens yeah. i mean i have my beliefs i mean you have yours but yeah yeah, yeah. i mean I, I don't think it starts after 12 weeks i'll say that I, I believe you. it starts before I get that. You. I do get that. See, for yeah. me, the only thing is I, you know what it never makes sense to me is when two, especially I'm going to give an example that bugs me. Two young people in high school, 16, 15, they fuck, they, the chick's now pregnant, bro. Neither of their families have money. They now decide to get married. Yeah. Now they're going to have this kid, bro. But now this kid's going to grow up with no good life. You know what I mean? Because they decided now they're going to have this kid. Mm. That relationship doesn't last more than two years, bro. So they be they are born into a broken home already with young people that now hate their life because they used this opportunity to ruin what they have fucking going forward because they weren't ready anywhere near to bring a life and to care for life into the world, bro. Mm. So yes, it could be different, bro. I'm just looking at it from a logical sense of view. Yeah. That kid's gonna have very little and probably be disturbed majority majority of the time, bro. And that that's not nice. Like you did that on purpose because you were irresponsible, it's, in my opinion. I I hear that. Yeah, and also just, again, just to play devil's advocate, like I, if you speak to someone who's had an abortion, mm. maybe who's had multiple abortions, dude, it has a huge psycho- psychological on a woman effect on them. Especially, bro, crazy. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, okay. Maybe, even a miscarriage, maybe the kid, same, same vibe. Exactly. Right? Yeah. And maybe, maybe even to a greater extent because they've decided to go through with this. Mm. So I mean, I don't know, man. Like, I think it's it's a, it's a it's a this or that. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's it's a if they do go through with it, they have those kind of mental problems going forward. But if they don't go through with it, they have a lot of other yeah. fucking and she problems. Might, bro. Sometimes it doesn't go well. So no, like some women can't have kids afterwards. No, one hundred percent, bro. So. Yeah, okay, no, enough about that fucking thing. Gender studies, waste of a degree, people. Don't fucking go waste your parents' money. They're hard-earned fucking money. That's Dumb it. bastards, okay. Go start a music career. <laughs> <laughs> or talk shit on a podcast. Well there done. we go. Why not? One scam that people do not know is a scam. 
which, you know, we, and it's scary because we got taught this in school, bro. And I fucking remember it vividly, bro. Yeah. The fucking food pyramid. Yeah. The you, food pyramid is the dumbest thing under one. the fucking sun. Yeah, we have one, yeah. We're going to yeah. use it as reference. Obviously, we'll put it up on the fucking screen, ladies and gentlemen. So, let me just read out the food pyramid to you. They say that the basis of all the foods that you should be eating is starches. Wow. Starches. That is the reason why. I actually did some research on this. Do you know why th the food pyramid was invented? Tell me. The fucking agricultural market used it as a marketing campaign back in the 70s, bro. To sell more starches, bro. They literally, it's the same as, they didn't. So people fed you bullshit to make money. Money. Oh, where have we seen that before? Bro. It's a brand new concept. Yeah. It's never happened before in the history of human beings ever, you know? So, sorry, let me just... So, it's yeah. starches, which is your pastas, wheat, rice, breads, everything. Then on the next one is your vegetables, fruits. Then only do you get your milk and cheeses and your meat and meat substitutes, which you should not be eating meat substitutes, like... Yeah. And but then I mean, at the top, your fats and sweets. Sweets, yes. Fats, yes. No. Yeah, that's incorrect. Fats, fats are so important to the body, bro. Like starches, the reason why the obesity rate and the diabetes rate has climbed so much in the last 50 years is because of this bad motherfucker that's been taught in every single school throughout the world since then, since yeah. 50 years, bro. People Do people still listen to the food pyramid, by the way? Dude, of course they, they do. They don't, it's, it's only, think about it, it's only like a new thing. Let's say the last 10 years that people have actually been disproving it, bro. Mm. It's not a, it's not a tale anymore, bro. People are actually now looking into it. But a lot more people, my if dad. If you had to follow that, you would yeah. feel like shit. Dude, you, you would feel like shit all day, bro. Yeah. All day, you would be tired. Tired. You would be fat. Yeah. You would be fucking, you can't think, your, your, your mind's always boggled. Yeah. And that's it, bro. And that's why most of these people live unhappy lives, bro, because yeah. their hormones are fucked by the food that they eat. Everything that you put into your body, okay, you're sitting as fucking drinking wine, but everything that you put into your body yeah. affects your mood. That, that literally, how you change your person is you change your diet. Yeah. If you want to change your mindset, you change your diet. This fucking nonsense of carbs are your friends to give you the energy is a bunch of shit. Because more, and sorry, I just did more research on this. So carbs transmuted into glucose during metabolism, which means that your body has an excess of sugar or glucose yeah. in your body by eating too much carbs because it can't burn all that energy. Because the amount of carbs that you're eating compared to the amount of calories that you're intaking is not the same as what you're burning yeah. in a fucking day. Yeah, and I mean, you know, I'm not going to speak too much on the mm. the the specifics because um, I don't know enough about it, but I do know this is that, like you said, eating a bunch of starch, like eating way too many carbs, you feel tired, you feel bloated, your mental sharpness is not there whatsoever. But you know, going, it's, it's, I guess it falls into part of the, the, the food pyramid is we were told that you need to have breakfast every single day. Breakfast, no, you know, that was again a marketing yeah. campaign by a cereal. Back in the fucking day, there we go. Makes that sense. said breakfast, they just use that slogan, breakfast is the most important meal of the yeah. day. And everybody believed it yeah. forever, bro. My dad, you know my dad, smart yeah. motherfucker. Breakfast, all day, every day, cuz. Never, yeah. never didn't used to eat breakfast. Yeah. I said, dad, try the fasting with me. Eat your first meal, lunchtime, maybe three o'clock. Yeah. See how, see, how, see how you feel after Even that, train. Bro. Fasted. That's it. Yeah. And I said, see how you feel after that, dude. Man's never went back to eating breakfast. There we go. Again, bro. There never. we go. The only time I'll eat breakfast is on a Sunday morning when I wake up, I light a joint, I make yeah. some bacon and eggs, and that's vibes. There we because go. It's one week, day of the week. One day of the week. Yeah. But bro, during the week I fast until I have my first meal at three o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. I have my first chow. Nine o'clock I have my last meal. Six hours I fucking put in through my things. But I also only have. Two meals maybe in that time frame, but it's mostly protein or fucking this or yeah. that. Because if I eat anything else, dude, I, as you say, you get tired, bro. Yeah. I did that carnival diet that Jordan B. Peterson with the beef and the for one month. Yeah. Changed my life. Really, eh? For a whole month, it's you didn't just have anything very else. tough, bro. Nothing. Yeah, I can nothing. imagine. I it's can imagine. It's very tough, bro. Like, yeah. I was just eating a chicken. What about this and that? But now, 
obviously you want a burger, you want a pasta, yeah. you want a pizza, this and that, bro. And it's fucking, it's not easy to say no to things, especially if you're going out and doing shit. You know yeah. what I mean? So yeah, I tried that. Dude, I was never tired. Never. Like, dude, I used to sleep like six hours and I was on fucking run, bro. Yeah. Mental sharpness, different gravy, bro. But yeah. it's just a very hard thing to maintain, dude, if I can say that. I try, I try to do the carnival for a little bit. Yeah. Um, I got like, two three days in and like i I'm, I'm not big on vegetables but i do eat it because i know i feel better afterwards okay but after three four days of just eating pure carnival dude i had this intense craving for vegetables and for fruit i just, just couldn't push past that i was just like i i'm gonna it's just, hard bro yeah it's hard but it's like anything with a diet you got to get past the first week or two yeah. and then it gets a little bit easier bro you actually you start eating for your health and not your enjoyment that's the difference yeah. When you get to that, bro. But it, yeah, it's not it's not an easy fucking Yeah, I mean, thing. You sh- what's that saying? Eat to live, don't live to eat. There we go. Dude, we're just dropping quotes, whole podcast. Bro, and that's Boom. gluttony in its finest fucking form, bro. If yeah. you cannot, what's the word? Discipline yourself enough to choose what you put into your body. You'll never be able to do other things, yeah. bro. If you can't choose what you put in, then it's... Dude, that's why I despise... Oh, no, okay, wait. That's the wrong way to say despise. it. Despise <laughs> Okay, okay. <laughs> Uh, off the bat, it might be a bit of a bad thing, but uh, dude, fat people irritate the shit out of me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But like, like, some, like, not not all, not all, yeah, but yeah, like, yeah. there's a certain kind of fat person who is a know it all, a know it all, and they just mean sometimes. Yeah, they're man. angry people. Bro. Just mean sometimes. One hundred percent. Yeah. Because yeah. I know cool fat people, bro. But yeah. fucking some of them are just like you look at them and you think no, and they they always a know it all. They know everything about health and this and that. And I'm like, yeah. Sure. Yeah, sure, I mean, mate. I'm not into fat shaming, but some people deserve it. Uh, some people deserve it. Maybe bullying works. Who knows, bro? <laughs> so, last thing on the food permit. <laughs> now, I got to throw one more factor in here. Devil's Let's advocate is yeah. that the only reason a lot of people eat so much starch and stuff is because of the price compared to healthy food, bro. Okay. Your maize meal, your bread, this and that is cheaper to eat on a regular basis than buying steaks and chickens and this and that. So that's the only factor, in my opinion, that can Are vegetables influence. cheaper than starch, though? Yeah. I don't know, but they, no, I would assume they are, no, right? No, they're not, bro. Straight facts, they're not. not so if you save money getting vegetables, then you can get the steak if you cut out the starch. I don't know. I'm, I'm blessed enough that I don't have to. Yeah. We have to worry about that. I don't yeah. have to worry 100%. about that. We're sitting from, yeah. This is where I can say we sit from a privileged aspect i yeah. don't like the word privilege but this is one of those times that i can admit that mm. but yeah bro straight facts like if you think about it all starches are th- it's the cheapest thing in the food chain bro why do you think they put it at the bottom of the food permit yeah. saying that you need it the most when it's it the most easily up the worst. accessible yeah and the easiest affordable because even if you're poor you can still afford fucking pup bro yeah you know what i mean so it's a it's a real thing bro and that's where diabetes comes from bro Going on that carnival yeah. diet, I think there was a study done that 60% of people after two months dropped off their diabetes completely, bro. Damn. Completely. Like, fucking... There hasn't been enough studies yet to, like, verify it, but I was doing a bit of research. Completely lost their fucking yeah. diabetes Well, I mean, problems, it's, it's been, like, proven to cure, like, a ton of autoimmune diseases. All which of is them. Like Not su- all of them, but, yeah, like, majority, majority of them. Majority of them. Yeah. Damn. Last scam of the media empire, bro. What is that? The fucking education system. I'm proof that the education system is a scam. I agree. Actually, touch my paw. Same. There we go. Homie. Not one degree between us. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> True facts. And you know what? I'm not even lying to you about more of the... I want to start off from, from the young basis of yeah. primary school and high school, the developing years, because that is where majority of all people get formed as a person bro all of their ideals and everything it's important majority, stage like, for sure they're very it's very difficult to be able to change yourself after yeah. that kind of thing when you have that foundation you have that foundation bro. yeah only certain people can hack that shit but i look at what i learned in school and the only thing that i can take away from it is social skills bro i genuinely couldn't t- math basic math mm. i could do that I don't do hard math, bro. Yeah. The only time you need to do like fucking trig and fucking this and that and sign cos tan is if you're a scientist looking to do that shit. Yeah. Cool. Good for you, mate. 
then you go study, you go do those things because that's actually important yeah. to the career that you want to do. To all the kids out there, if you're in maths, you're probably going to make a lot of money outside of school. Yeah. Fuck, dude. I, <laughs> I took math until matric, bro, and I regret it every day of the fucking week, bro. You see, I didn't. I regret it. And I loved high school because of it. You know what I, I, it, Fuck. It, it, But that is the problem in the education system, especially in high school. There's this narrative that if you don't take pure maths and you don't take physical science you fucked yeah you know it's like that's essentially what they would tell us in school i mean actually I think it's true bro i never thought about it but you you're very right if you didn't dude, take, we had a couple there's teachers. like three hot and accounting yeah accounting so i took math and accounting but only because i me and numbers worked yeah in accounting yeah me and math once everything else started getting introduced i was fucking i hated yeah. it bro because i didn't enjoy doing it i was like this doesn't make fucking sense like if you didn't take, as you say, you didn't take one of those subjects, yeah. people looked at you like you were like an teachers, imbecile, basically. Bro. And teachers would do it, dude, which is to me is so wrong because like as a kid, when you're in school, the a lot of the time, a teacher's opinion matters, so means the world to you but dude, a lot you of spend, the time. You, you know? spend every day with that teacher. Exactly. Bro, every yeah. day. You probably see teachers more than you see your family at home. Yeah. And dude, it's just, it's just so not true, man. Like I think, uh, well, like you know, um, I'm sure every, well, everyone here knows that school doesn't prepare you for life for life at all. Fuck I mean, all. I arrived at varsity and I thought that I knew how to, how to live. How long and did you study? One year? I did two years. I did one year. Yeah. And I tried to do online after. It's fucking, no. Yeah. I hated it. I did two years and I, w I was just like, this is not for me. We're all going to die. I'd rather just die trying what I want to do yeah. instead of doing, doing this. this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, but Jay, you were saying you got to college. Okay, 2018, I'm in a lecture hall at the University of Pretoria yeah. getting hey. getting lectured for for English. And this dude decides we start speaking about politics. He says, um, you know, so well, we were actually, we were speaking, about, we were sp uh, now I remember, we were doing a poem on Nazi Germany. Okay. And he was busy speaking about Nazi Germany and he was like, yeah, it's a shame we've seen this kind of stuff resurface ever since Trump became the American president. And I mean, like, bro, like, if you just know anything about politics and about America in general, you just know that is just a wild statement. Yeah. And this came out of the mouth of an educator at a top university who went to Oxford. I, when, th when this happened, this was just one of those moments where I was just like, Oh, so the people in charge don't know shit. I was like, okay, cool. And the problem is they're the ones that are now giving the education down, bro. I mean, it's, right. that, it's that fucking yeah. quote that says, not everyone with a degree is intelligent. Yeah. Not everyone, well, not everyone without one is an idiot. Yeah. And dude, if you even look at Elon Musk, guys, straight up, this should just straight up give you logic about how life works. If the richest man on the planet who has built five Billion dollar companies mm. tells you that he does not look for a college degree when employing people. He looks for life experience and the character of a person. Yeah. Then, and if you don't take that into mind, then you're a fucking twit. Yeah. He's and involved in sending people dude, to space, dude. Bro. This is what I'm saying, and you, you, how you can fucking make, and people will hate on him because he's a billionaire. Yeah. You know the eat the rich kind of vibe. Those people, dumb. Sorry, all of you that eat the dumb. Yeah. Dumb. Sorry, there's the logic there is fucking flawed, but. Now, again, in the education system, look at what they've taught us compared to the shit that they should have taught us, bro. Yeah. They should have taught us basically how to do taxes. Small little things, bro. Yeah. Never taught us. Actual human management because life orientation was a bunch of nonsense. Yeah. Worst subject in fucking school history. Those books were a waste of time and it was so... I can't understand how the fuck they put those kind of things into a school where none of it is accurate, bro. Yeah. That's not how life works, bro. They should teach you fighting at school, guaranteed, to defend yourself. Yeah. Stress that's management. Actually, that's clever. That's clever. Dude, stress management should be a fucking thing. Yeah. Again, human skills. I'm trying to think of what else you could put in there, but I'm not going to lie to you, dude. If I, if I, and when I, well, when I, if I have children, I genuinely don't think I'd be sending them into the traditional education system, bro. The only thing that yeah. I have against that is that the problem that with the social skills, because that's the only thing we learned in school was social skills, bro. Yeah. If it wasn't for that... Yeah. Could argue like you could just counter that with sending them to go do something like martial arts or some kind of team sport, but I guess like it's it's the same, mm. but it's it's not. I mean, I, mean, I, I don't even, know. I even look at business management, bro. Yeah. I used to like business management in school. I went, I kept my textbooks and I went through them, bro. Useless. 
useless, bro. I don't need to know sh that shit. Yeah. You filled my head with so much unnecessary nonsense where that's a problem. Majority of people, they, when they teach business management, they teach it as an employee, yeah. not as an employer. So they're teaching people straight up to be slaves, bro. Go into the system, work the corporate. Well, dude, that is the that's whole education it, system. They're it's literally like sending prepping you to be you a to slave. be a cog in the machine, bro. Man. Bro, and I mean, like, they they literally telling you, let your dreams die. Yeah. And just fit in so you can have a safe, comfortable life. Bro. Yeah. And that's, that's all school was, bro. Yeah. They used to keep you. It's a prison system. Did you see those comparisons between a prison and a school? They keep you in classes for certain times. They Uniform. give you meals at certain times. You're only allowed to leave at certain times. Yeah. You can't be absent unless this or that, what, what, what. And they treat you single file. This Dude, that's what a yeah. fucking prison is, bro. It's a prison of the fucking mind. That's Education it. system is a prison of the fucking mind, which is disgusting. Dude, and bro. I feel like I can speak on it a little bit because like, I was studying to be a teacher, bro. I was, I was, I really? was studying I education. Yeah, dude. And my mom's a teacher. My mom teaches grade three. So, I mean, you know, I, I believe from about... I, mean, I think that's kind of necessary. Like, mm. you need someone to teach your kids how to paint, write their name. Yes. Learn no, no, how to count. No, no, for sure. You know what I mean? Sure. And there are sections in high school, but the majority of it is trash. Yeah, like 90%. You can call 90% of it. The tertiary shit. education system, unless you're going to be a lawyer, yeah, a doctor, doctor or something. Yeah, shit, literally, bro, bro, like. You don't need that shit. No. And people are kind of waking up to the fact, like you said, that you don't need a degree to be to, successful, to, bro. Like, you don't need a degree to gain and apply knowledge. Like. And they don't teach you actual knowledge, they teach you to paraphrase things. Because yeah. when they give you tests, they don't teach you, they don't give you things to like make you think. Yeah. They just think, what does this memory, pa memory yeah, and put memory it onto test. a fucking piece of paper. Yeah. Bro. Dude, every, nearly everything you can learn online these days, bro. Education is nearly a free fucking system. You can learn, dude, how much have you learned leaving school compared to when you were in school about life, just in general? Oh, uh, dude, it's incomparable. It's 100%. Yeah. And yeah, dude, that's why. I, these people that are pushing for this, you know, you got to go to school, you got to get a college degree. Yeah. Guys, that time is done. It's done. It's done. That shit's over. Please, once your kid finds something that they're really good at, yeah. let them go at it. Let there them we go. push on that fucking yeah. thing and inspire Nurture them their passions, man. 100%, yeah. bro. 100%. But that's the last scam. We missed one, and that was climate change. Yeah. But neither of us are too well informed on that but we yeah. both think we both think it's, it's nonsense bullshit, yeah <laughs> but also we're also lying yeah so we're lying but it is nonsense but we're lying so yeah. kind of funny that we're filming this on april fool's day as well <laughs> actually i didn't think about that bro <laughs> but uh dog i want to say thank you bro for coming on this podcast thank you i appreciate it i think we did some it's fucking okay. magic again there we go yeah and i love conversations like this where people can actually open their minds and think about yes. you know if you can't change your opinion based on new information then you're also <laughs> okay. That's probably not the right word to use. We'll blurt, we'll blurt that one out. But the idea is there, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for listening to go. the Modern Man podcast. Thank you, guys. Brand Shaw, there thank you go. for coming on. Go stream so silly on Spotify. One hundred percent, ten million views. But we're coming to Cape there Town, we and we're going to fucking do a podcast with him and Cyrus. We're going to learn all about that. There we go. But um, until next time, people, leave your comments because this was a little bit of a controversial one. And just to remind everybody that I do not believe in equality. <laughs> equality is a bunch of nonsense. So please take it how you will, and. Sit with it. There we go. Peace. We actually the incoming message. The Modern Man Podcast.